it, it looks like we're we're set to spend 217 million dollars on the Bright Future Scholarship Program, uh, and you have uh, under Priority Three the the 10 percent reduction model, that that would mean a cut of 21.7 million dollars to the Bright Future Scholarship Program. Um, I I see that line item and I'm extremely alarmed by that. Um, could you give me a guesstimate on how many students you think would um, be shut out of the Bright Futures program as a result of that $21.7 million cut? You're recognized. I'm, Thank you, I'm not Chair. Sure you can get I'm, that number. I'm sorry? About 10,000. 10, mm. Approximately 10,000 students. Uh, permission permission yep. for follow up, follow -up. Mr. Chair? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, we all know that the standards were hiked several years ago by the Florida legislature, and that had a substantial impact on the number of students who were eligible for the Bright Futures program. How, how many students have been shut out or not qualified? How many, okay, let me rephrase the question. How many less students in this year before cuts qualify for Bright Futures compared to, say, the ap academic year 2011 when we first substantially made those uh, standard hikes? Well, I'm not sure that's relevant to the, to, to the exercise, but if you want to take a stab at that, Commissioner. I, I, I know that there, is, there are fewer students. I would not want to make a stab at what that number is, but we can certainly provide that number okay. to you. Okay, if you would, that'd be yes. great. And and just a quick yep. follow-up, Mr. Chair. Right ahead. Thank you. And uh, I know that that's not part of the exercise, but my question was really meant to try to underscore a trend in this program. Uh, we all know it's a declining trend where uh, I think about half the number of students who used to qualify for the Bright Futures Scholarship then qualify now. Um, and I'm just, I'm very concerned when I, when I see that we have to look to very important programs like the Bright Futures Scholarship um, to make these types of cuts and that we're going to shut out even more students, especially knowing that that is going to have a disproportionate impact as, as those changes have already made on minority students. Um, for me, it's personal because I wouldn't have a four-year degree from the University of Central Florida. I probably wouldn't be sitting here at this dais um, had I not had access to the Bright Futures Scholarship Program. And I know that many, many students don't go to school, they don't get a four-year degree um, because they, they can't access this program. So um, that's why I just wanted to highlight the dramatic impact that this would have. And I, I appreciate you answering my question and, and for your time, Commissioner Stewart. Thank you, Representative.